Hi, this is Steve Withers here at CES 2012 and as you can see around me it's incredibly busy which is one of the reasons why we're not shooting this video over by the glasses free 3D TV. Now of course one of the big problems with 3D has been mass market acceptance and one of the reasons people haven't accepted 3D as readily as people would like is because of the glasses. So all the major manufacturers have been working on glasses free 3D TVs and Sony is showing their version behind me. Now this uses lenticular technology which is nothing new, I think it's about 50 years old in fact and as a result the big problem with it is two, two things. One is resolution and the other one is viewing angle. Now by the looks of it the TV behind me is a 4K panel which will certainly improve the resolution of the content. The resolution looked very good but as always the problem is once you move off axis you lose the 3D effect. Now they've tried to improve this by using multiple lenticular panels uh, and it does work to a degree. As I moved away from the center, I could still see a 3D effect, but to my eyes at least, the 3D effect wasn't very good. There was no really immersive depth to it at all, and in fact at various times it felt uncomfortable to watch. Uh, now we saw glasses-free 3D TVs at CES last year, and we weren't convinced by them, and personally I remain unconvinced by them now. Um, Phil himself thought it didn't look too bad, but I've got to say personally I found it actually uncomfortable to look at. So I think we're still a few years away from genuine glasses-free 3D TVs. Well, stay tuned for more content here at avforums.tv.